Welcome to Sign Wall Elf Display Part 3. What I've done this time is I've got my basic shapes cut out and set up. I went ahead and I'm going to add a third tier on one side. I'm looking for a real flow to this piece, a yin-yang sort of thing. It's supposed to be a monastery of some kind, so there's certain elements that I wanted to include. Uh, so I've decided the flow of the piece is going to be like this. There's going to be stairs up, and then a pathway, and then like a stone gate, which you'll see momentarily, and then it'll come back down to a path, and then what I did is I cut these off so there would be an open space here to complete the loop. What I did was, using my belt sander, I created these nifty shapes, and how I did it was I cut two blocks to the same size, I put them together like this, and then I just pressed it down on this curved end. This is a really great tool for shaping styrofoam, this uh, end part here where it goes around the cylinder. Additionally, I cut some smaller pieces and I made the same shape, which will be repeated as standing stones on the, on the display board. So then, I took some sandpaper, and because I want to give these stone blocks a natural shape, I just sanded them roughly around the edges. I like medium grit sandpaper. seems to work pretty well. If you get too low of a grit, you'll end up sanding and sanding and sanding. And if you get too coarse of a grit, uh, it'll end up uh, ripping your styrofoam and giving you irregularities, which will... Uh, make it harder for you later on. Now, if I wanted these to look like they were two stone blocks balanced on top of each other, which will add to the narrative of the piece, I could take a soldering iron and burn in an illusionary crack there. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just take the edge of my sandpaper and work in a crack. I don't know if you can see that. And then that'll form the illusion of two blocks standing on top of each other. And then of course I'll go and round off the corners where they've naturally worn together. That's really the key to making terrain is what I call narrative, is there, there have to be elements where uh, the person is transported to this other world uh, that um, that tell a story. Uh, a little rat coming out of a sewer pipe. That's narrative. These blocks, this cut here, that's narrative. There was a stone block on top of another one. 